When most people think of holograms, they probably think of the Princess Leia scene in the original Star Wars movie. General Kenobi, years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person. What George Lucas was able to accomplish in this scene wasn't a true hologram, but rather clever video trickery. Kind of like this? Exactly. But now scientists say they're coming close to actually displaying video in three dimensions, and that would be a step that goes way beyond 3D movies. People have been writing 3D holograms on static, on static materials for a long time. But the, but the, but the breakthrough in this research is, we, is that we've created a material that can be updated. So we can write the hologram into again and again and again. Actually, the look is more like a slideshow than a video. In experiments, the technology displayed a new image only every two seconds and with only a 45 degree range of viewing angles. The University of Arizona isn't alone in pursuing the technology. Researchers at MIT are hard at work on it as well. Uh, the work that we've been doing in the media laboratory, going back to the late Steve Benton's work in the late 1980s and continuing to this day, is in making holographic television, which means above all else, it has to move at full video rates and it has to not involve ultimately specialized hardware. It has to move toward the kind of thing that you can imagine having in your living room and just plugging into your computer or your game console or your set-top box. So how do they work? We see objects by perceiving the light that bounces off of them. Holograms are two-dimensional images that reconstruct the light that would have bounced off a physical object. That makes it look 3D. So, while the technology is still in its infancy, 3D hologram video may someday be as commonplace as your television set. I'm AP Science writer Malcolm Ritter, and so am I.